Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be your reading for August 1st through the 15th, 2021. We are already moving into the eighth month of the year. And we're building to the new moon, which will be in Leo. And it's also on like August 7th, 8th, like the Lionsgate portal. So a lot of powerful energy there. Let's see what we've got for you guys. Get all the cards out here. Whoop. Okay, Libra is interesting. First three cards out, we've got two of wands, five of pentacles, and the three of cups here. So the first message I immediately felt was you're making a decision to turn away from things that make you feel disconnected or turning away from um, being disconnected from yourself, from things that are important to you, from things that bring you joy. So if you've been, okay, interesting. So if you have been feeling a lack of joy or disconnect from yourself in some way, I see you turning your back on that, meaning you're going to make the changes necessary so that you feel good. Um, that's really what I'm getting here from the Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can really be um, about disconnect, spiritual disconnect, communication disconnect, literal disconnect from another person. I'm seeing this uh, this time more as a disconnect from yourself. So what are the things and the areas of your life that you have felt maybe out of balance or off from? I see you wanting to seek out the things to kind of reverse that. Bring back in that connection. Bring back in whatever that joy is for you. And with the Three of Cups here, it's like, here's your celebration card. Here is you feeling good, feeling more social, feeling more like yourself. So if you've been feeling a little bit off, I think, you know, these last few weeks, we've had a lot of planetary shifts that have created a lot of uneasiness in our bodies as we ascend spiritually. So if you've been feeling a little bit off, it's not just you. It's been kind of a common theme, but I kind of feel like that is balancing out and it's creating space for you to get back into that high vibe space of just feeling good, making good decisions for yourself and really focusing on what it is that you need to have all that balance in your life. So if you've been off balance, I see that shifting for you. Next up, we've got Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. Okay, some of you are contemplating a love interest or a relationship that you are involved in. Um, it could be because you have been disconnected from yourself that has caused some disconnect in the relationship and maybe the the need to just have a have a look at what's really going on here. So with I see your energy as the Queen of Cups here and with the back kind of turned to the 10 of Cups, you you may take a step back from this relationship, this person, this situation and on um, you know you, you feel like you're in decision making mode, but this 2 of Swords is saying don't make a decision yet it's too soon to make a decision you don't have all the information necessary to make the proper decision in regards to this person or this relationship notice the blindfold here on this two of swords also the head is disconnected from the heart here so again libra another message around disconnect so a strong message coming through for you. It is your time to truly reconnect in with you. It's like putting everything outside of you aside and bringing the focus back into you. And I think that that may help clarity around this love interest. With the Ten of Cups here, I feel like this love is quite strong. So even if it's new and it's just starting to develop, I do see it having the potential to be um, a really fruitful, happy, loving, long-term relationship for you. 
which could be why I'm seeing the message here to not rush into a decision of like needing to break it off or, you know, having the situation be a yes or a no, an in or an out, like allow yourself to be in this gray area for a little bit and, and let time show you what is the right thing. I'm also seeing this cup that this queen is holding here. That is your cup, Libra. That is the cup that you hold with yourself. So again, a lot of focus around filling yourself up from you, not from outside things. Um, and taking the time for that. So this is a really beautiful message here. Uh, last row, I've got King of Swords, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords. Okay, this King of Swords is definitely somebody you are dealing with. Again, this could be a new relationship or somebody that you've been getting to know or even somebody that you're fully in a committed partnership with. They're going to feel this little bit of you pulling back and you getting more happy within yourself. They're going to be fearful of that. If this isn't a romantic interest, this could also be with friends or other close relationships around you. I'm seeing it like they're going to see and notice a shift within you and it's going to cause some fear within them. They're going to fear that they're losing you, that they're falling behind, that you're moving ahead and they're not, you know, something like that. So just be aware of that. This King of Swords energy um, may be a little bit harsh, but I just I want you to see it from a different perspective that the harshness. Um, is just their own fears and their own insecurities coming up while you really make good positive changes for yourself. So don't let that distract you. Don't let that sidetrack you and be mindful. You know, try to stay away from little disagreements or little arguments or things like that. Stay, stay in your lane and stay focused because right now, Libra, it's all about you your joy, your happiness, what do you need to feel your absolute best? Because when you're in that place, the amount of love that you have to give to others is unlimited. So, you know, it may take a minute for this King of Swords to recognize that, like the happier you are, the more love you can give to this person and the relationship, but you've got to get there in yourself first. So yeah, this time Libra is really about you. So you could be dealing with an, another air sign. So a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, I've got quite a bit of sword, like air energy out here, but also water. So Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer coming through. And, you know, I'm seeing fire as well uh, with the two and five of wands. So Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Don't get too caught up on the signs. You know, it really... We all can embody the different characteristics of the different signs at different times. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. Um, but yeah, I think the messages are really clear for you, Libra. It's really, it's all about you right now. And those around you might have a hard time for that if they are used to having all of your attention and all of a sudden you are giving you that attention that you really need to feel your best, um, to be your best, to look your best, to, you know, all of that. So just be aware of that. that. That's about them and not about you. Stay in your lane and focused on your joy and happiness. And that will filter into every other area of your life. Okay. Let's see if there's any other message. Yep. All right. We've got divine guidance for you, Libra. So this is just confirmation. This is really your time. You're being guided to this energy, to these decisions, to this clarity around your yourself and what you need right now. So keep trusting the inner call, quiet the mind, drop down out of that Libra mind and into the heart and soul as often as possible. You can do that by bringing focus to the breath is the fastest and easiest way to come out of the head and into the body, into the heart. Okay, let me get you a spirit animal message. Okay, wow, there it is. I love it, Libra. You got unicorn, infinite possibilities. How appropriate. You are the sovereign of the unseen and seen world. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Ooh, 
I almost have goosebumps from that Libra. That This is what you're going through. I'm also noticing the butterflies on here, which are all about kind of transformation, a new phase. So with this, right, the magic of love surrounds you, that you're building from within. Listen to the spirits of light, abandon the darkness. The darkness are the things around you that cause disconnect, okay? These can be habits, patterns, beliefs that you have. It can be literal people around you, situations around you. So you're really cleaning that up so that you can have that really strong connection and joy within yourself. And you're, you're gaining your sovereignty over, you know, your own happiness. Unicorn, infinite possibilities. I love that message for you, Libras. I hope this resonates. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or really any other placement of Libra. Thank you for the comments below the video. I love reading your comments, the thumbs up, the new subscribers. All of that just makes me so happy. Um, the box below has all the information on the services I offer. I am a master energy therapist. I've been specializing in distance energy healing and therapy full time for the last three and a half years. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So the link below has all the information on my website for you about the distance energy healing and therapy. Uh, you can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials page. And I also offer a 15% discount for your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. Um, other than that, Libras, I'm wishing you a wonderful start to August. Enjoy the juiciness of this Leo new moon on the 8th. And I will see you guys back here for the second half of August readings. Take care.